All right, so it's the end of the school year. You're exhausted, burnt out. Your students are also exhausted, burnt out, but you still have some days left and you do have to do something in class. So what do you do? A video project, of course. Now you're probably wondering, uh, I, don't, I don't know much about video or I, I just don't want to plan. Don't worry, I got you covered. I have a fun lesson outline, almost lost right there, a fun outline, lesson outline, that is no prep and no cost and there's no strings attached. You might say, why? I'm doing it free. I want everybody to get into video creating and this is one of my ways to get it out there. So anyways, go ahead and stick around and continue watching this video so you can get the free PDF graphic organizer and the lesson outline. Let's go. All right, so it was that fun little video of just snapping and I can be anywhere I want. I can either get anything, be anything, be anywhere. That is it. That is the whole simple transition. It's you either snap, you either click, you either clap, whatever it may be, that is your transition. So let's go ahead and check out the lesson outline and already go ahead and check out the graphic organizer that your students are gonna be using. All right, so first you can find the freebie in my Teachers Pay Teachers uh, account. It is free and you'll go ahead and download. Once you do that, you're gonna come up with this. And let me present. And here it is, the snap video lesson outline. This is for teachers to fill out so you can have an idea of how you're connecting it to your subject area. Uh, the examples I have are dual language, ELA, history, math, science, SEL. Here I left it blank because these are the standards you're gonna be working on. Uh, I would suggest just picking on one. You can also pick two or three. Now the lesson outline. Have students select an area in a subject and have them brainstorm using the graphic organizer and that's in the next page. Once they complete the questions, have them sketch out a quick storyboard in the rectangles provided in that graphic organizer. Using a tripod or someone holding the phone slash camera still, students will record the two clips they drew out. They will both edit the both clips using any editing program, app or program that they have if they have an iPhone or an iPad, this would most likely be iMovie, but let's continue. These are some examples for each of the subjects I brought up. Dual language, they can practice two languages by using a remote control and hitting the SAP button to switch languages during a conversation. For an ELA, students can snap to a story plot of their choosing or impersonate a character from a book of their choosing or your class book that you're reading. History, students snap to a specific time in history and share facts about that specific event. It can be a back in time style video. This could be back when um, the civil rights movement came about, right? Or another specific time, the uh, Red Sox winning the World Series for the first time, right? So <laughs> that could be a historical example. For math, you can when the students are editing it, you can have them look at the duration of each clip and discuss the seconds and milliseconds, which coincide with fractions and decimals. And I've done this numerous times. Science, it's actually one of my favorites. In science, the students can discuss a concept such as Newton's laws of motion, how to make blank, or create a Bill, Sty, Bill Nye style video. Now, how to make, this was very popular back four or five years ago, it was slime. Right, you can talk to talk, have them talk about the different ingredients and how they physically react with one another or chemically if they chemically react. And finally, SEL, it's uh, helping students understand stress triggers. They will look at one stress trigger and have them snap into another coping strategy. And this is really good because they get to be a third person in that. They don't have to be feeling it and then have to already know, right? They can pick one and then go from there. Now here is the graphic organizer for your students. Here they're gonna write down the subject that they're gonna do this for, who is the person in the video. It's either themselves, 
someone else it could be a pet what does the person have or do or not have or do and what will they have after the transition and here they will storyboard they'll draw themselves in any scenery they would identify which transition cue it could be a snap a click etc and then next they're gonna have uh, a second drawing which is the desired object or emotion that comes in if you're enjoying this video go ahead and subscribe comment and let me know what other videos you want to see let's get back to the tutorial this is an example of mine uh, the video you saw earlier it was of me snapping to get coffee I selected this as an ELA. It could be a character that has magical powers. The person in the video is myself. I don't have coffee and I would like to have coffee ready in hand. As you saw it, I'm there. I snap, I have coffee. And that's pretty much it. This is something that could be very simple to implement with any subject that you're teaching. And it's really fun for the kids because they get to take control of their learning. All right, so here's my video clip. I'm gonna play it in its entirety so you can see how I recorded it and how we're gonna edit it together. So here we go. There I am walking away and I'm getting ready to come out. <clears throat> and here I'm looking for a coffee and then I'm gonna snap it. As you can tell, I'm frozen Get the mug out. I had that ready already. Right about where I snapped originally. Grab the, mu the mug and walk out. So let's go ahead and get into the editing. So right when I'm about to enter the kitchen, I'll say right about there. I'm going to click on the clip so it's highlighted yellow. I'm going to right click and split clip. And if you're on an iOS device, you're going to use the split tool. It is the scissors. Then going to go right where I'm going to snap. So right, right about there, same thing. We're just using the split tool here. Get the coffee mug right about there. So the hand is matched up to where it left off before. Click the middle clip and delete. And then Right when I leave the frame, go ahead and delete or split it. And then you can see that the last clip, that's what we're going to delete. And then let's see the whole video all at once. So you can play with it. Uh, I personally felt that it was too fast. So what I'm going to do is I can actually extend that out. And I think I might wait until All right, so here's my clip. I'm just going to hover over it so you can see really quick how it looks coming in, grab the mug, and then walk out. So what I'm going to do is cut it or split it right where I'm about to enter the kitchen, which is right about there. Click and highlight. If you're on a computer, you can right click and then do the split tool. If you are on an iOS device like an iPad or an iPhone, you're going to be using the scissors for the split. Delete the first part. Coming right here and right when I snap down. Right about there. Split that. And the next part, getting the mug. I, I would suggest you have everything that you need ready so you don't have to move that much. So right about there, delete the middle part and I walked out, split that, the last part, delete. Let's see it in its entirety. <laughs> 